Hi guys, it's Arian here from Life is Crafted. So, this video, three things. Very structured, huh? All right, number one, quick update about life, everything. Um, number two, I've got a sale on, sale, sale, woo! It's amazing. And three, how April is the new January. Yes, yes it is. So, number one, if you've been following along with some of the social media or uh, emails, bits and pieces, you will perhaps have seen that I'm a wifey now. <laughs> oh, sorry, it kind of twists up a little bit. But yes, I'm a wifey now. My lovely man, Andrash, also known as Mr. Life is Crafted, and I got married at the end of February. And it has been an amazing experience. Uh, okay, I won't get too soppy, but it's fabulous. I love being married. Um, when you find a fabulous partner in life and are able to, you know, just declare it to your friends and family because that's what's important to you. And I know that's not important to everybody, but for us, it was magical and special and amazing um yeah so because of that we were really channeling our energies i guess into planning the event in the lead up to it to spending time with our friends and family that flew across the world or from around australia to come and spend the special day with us and it really did take up a lot of time wonderful time but it did take up time so therefore i felt like my life has been a little bit out of balance it's been very focused on the relationship side of things so andrash and i really building what we want our marriage to be like um what we wanted the wedding and the days after to be like and then really focusing on spending time with our loved ones so his family our friends uh mom and dad are still here so because of that really a lot of the other sides of the other parts of life I didn't really focus on. So, which is why I guess I'll skip to point number three, how I'm treating April as the new January. So in December, January this year, I didn't spend actually too much time crafting a whole lot of uh, detailed goals. I really knew that it was going to be quite a busy January and February around the um, the wedding and so on. So I started off with the two big themes that I wanted this year to represent. And for me, one was expansion, right? So instead of kind of reacting and uh, just, uh, yeah, like making all this sort of stuff happen, which is important, but instead of like focusing on that side of things and looking backwards, this year, 2014, is about growth, about maybe getting outside of my comfort zone and stepping up and stepping out of that area and trying on some new things that are going to be more helpful to me, perhaps make me more productive, more aligned with my whole life and my goals. And the other side, the other big word was surrender right? So rather than that constant striving to make things happen and then beating myself up about why I didn't make things happen quicker or better or faster, it was to let go. So still be really clear about my vision, be really clear about where I'm taking myself in my life, but to surrender into the process, right? And just allow things to happen rather than constantly being reactive. But because, like I said, I didn't really do detailed goals and plans, I've decided that April is my new January. <laughs> and so I'm going to be drawing a line in the sand and letting go, clearing the slate, starting fresh, starting completely fresh and looking forward and doing my dreaming and um, brainstorming and categorizing and planning now. And look, it's a complete great opportunity for you, perhaps you to do that too. And you may be tracking along with your goals, you may be tracking along, ticking things off, making things happen in your life. But we all have those days sometimes, or weeks, or potentially months, where things just go to crapola, like things fall apart. You are not feeling great. It feels like everything you're doing, you're hitting the wall. Um, but when that happens, you do have the opportunity to choose to reset, 
reset. Take a deep breath. Let that go. That's in the past. You can't do much about it now. All you can do is take the lessons and learnings, even the painful ones, and learn from them so you can bring them forward with whatever you do or decide or take action on looking forward or in the now. So I'm drawing a line in the sand. You can too. Every day is a new day. Once again, breathing really helps. <laughs> Taking that deep breath really helps and going, okay, I'm going to start afresh now. So as part of that, I'm having a sale because sometimes a new planner can help. Like it doesn't, you know, it's not the be all and end all, but sometimes I don't know when I have like a fresh, fresh sheets of paper, it's empty inside. I am able to write my own pages. I'm able to design what I'm wanting without all the clutter of the past piling up on me and really muddying up the waters. So you don't need a new planner. You can just decide to do that and take out a blank piece of paper or, you know, take out the pages in your journal that aren't working, that are actually distracting you from maybe what hasn't been done yet and just start now. So the prices are on the website. They are very good, <laughs> very, very good because I want them to get out of my house and into your hands rather than just sitting here and little dreams dying there because nobody's writing in them. Um, but yeah, you get all the list and planning pages. You've got all those wonderful goal planning, the goal summary that you can look at every day, the wonderful tabs, got some of the beautiful little dotty tabs here. Um, you know, I've got the day per page one. See how thick that is? <laughs> um, that's the starter pack with the tabs in it. Ooh, quite big. Um, then of course you've got personal size. I've got a couple of them wrapped up in paper so they don't get too dirty. But anyway, check that out. But even if you don't get a Life is Crafted plan, it's a good opportunity to if you've been tr thinking about it because the prices are fabulous. Um, but otherwise, just make a decision for yourself that this is the time to make whatever you want to make happen in your life. Choose just at least one thing, one thing that you really have been talking about maybe for a while or has been marinating, has been stewing there. Just make the decision to make that one thing start to happen and start plotting, planning, scheming um, and craft your life because it's really worth it. Um, so that was my little <laughs> three part video um, about different things. Any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, life is crafted, craft yours.